Hello YouTube, this is Alexander again. Today I just want to talk about this little power supply. This is a, a kind of bastard uh, power supply. Uh, this this uh, power supply was made by me uh, after yesterday, I think, in the afternoon, because uh, I I need something to replace my uh, laboratory power supply for to supply anything I want for a very long time around uh, 24 o'clock around um, and uh, I don't want to use my regular uh, power supply for to do the stuff for supplying anything during uh, around the clock uh, it's uh, I, I, it's annoying for me I don't want to uh, to treat my um, laboratory power supply like this so for the for this purpose i made this uh, bastard power supply this uh, little power supply is made by me for to um, for to work uh, every day uh, without stopping it have uh, industrial serious power supply inside there is lots of power supply inside and as you as you see as you see here you can see many outputs uh, little um, po um, power, uh, power supply module coming from uh, China for not expensive price but I pay that uh, $30 I think it was uh, completely brand new uh, at this time and uh, there is there is here a regulated power supply uh, and uh, the output are here this is the output and you can you can use this one as a regular power supply for to provide any voltage you want and uh, if you switch on it switch on and you can have until uh, f uh, 48 volts uh, nearly 48 volts uh, here uh, but not a low uh, height uh, intensity this little power supply provides just uh, 30 watts sorry uh, at the output here and uh, here we have some uh, USB output and uh, those th uh, uh, USB output are uh, able to provide 4 or 5 amp output and uh, this one is in red because uh, because this one is connected to the power supply in fact you will have in this USB port the voltage uh, uh, exactly the same voltage than you will have in the output of your power supply it is is exactly like if you connected a, a USB in this port here why because simply you can have you can need to have some different voltage or to uh, uh, to uh, decrease the voltage of an output for to see the behavior on, of a, a charger or something like that and uh, also it's very dangerous it's, it's uh, this is for the reason i put this uh, red mark it's because if you uh, if if you have 12 vo 12 volt 20 or 30 volt here in uh, and uh, and you connect a plug here you will destroy your phone or any anything you connect here this is very dangerous this is the reason why i put this red mic here uh, because even me i did the mistake yesterday uh, fortunately i didn't uh, destroy anything but um, it's very confusing so uh, those those ports are with this one because this one is in fact a, a port a usb port as you can see here this is a usb port and why this nozzle is made like that i'm going to show you here you have a 48 vo uh, volt output and here of course you have the switch power supply switch and so uh, here you have a little plug here for the 12 output why i why i use for example 12 volt output this is just for this is just for to connect this power supply and this power supply when you want to connect it you have I'm sorry you have this kind of uh, this is not a power supply sorry this is a uh, electronic uh, charge electronic load 
So when you want to connect this, you you need to have a 12 volt, and sometimes you need to feed this uh, electronic load during one day, two day, three day, according according to the capacity of the battery you are testing. And so I don't want to supply uh, this kind of uh, device with uh, with my with my uh, laboratory power supply and the power supply provided with this unit well, when it comes from China which can, when it came from China was very annoying it emits lots of uh, uh, noise and uh, so it, I prefer to use another and so if I want to use my my device here for a long time I just connect it and uh, okay that's okay I can let this uh, device working for a very long time and uh, without uh, touching my laboratory, uh, uh, my laboratory power supply. So this it was one of the main purposes I did this uh, power supply, and uh, the nozzle which is here, in fact, is for to receive a USB meter like that. Because if you put your USB meter like that, it's, it's uh, hard to read. It's hard to control, but if you have your USB power meter like that, it's very easy to have the power supply in front of you and to read the value. Of course, you can have this one, or you can use the red, the red which here. But this one requires the use of this power supply, which, uh, I, as I can tell you. As I told you, it's dangerous because if you adjust a bad power, a bad uh, voltage, you can destroy something here. So it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, you need to use this one with a very high. Uh, so um, the the main problem I had I had uh, just before because I need to. Uh, to change something in this one because this plug are not able to to feed some uh, any electronic device like uh, sonic uh, camcorder or uh, apple phones because in fact some uh, some device use a little tricky thing in the charger this uh, this plug are supplied by a big uh, electronic uh, power supply which provides until 4 amp 4 or 5 it depends and if you feed this uh, uh, usb port only with this power supply you cannot connect your apple iphone here or any device which needs um, a classical charger this is the reason I use another tricky effect in uh, inside for to make it recognizable by all the stuff you connect inside. So this supply are able to feed any electronic device. You can Samsung, Apple, uh, any, uh, anything you want here. Sony camcorders, any, anything is all the stuff are able to work here. So I'm going to dismount this and see inside how it's made. So you can see the stuff. It's made uh, with a metallic box. It was a, a kind of uh, uh, dual video USB audio receiver, but I I didn't uh, use this kind of stuff. It was a, a salvaged part coming um, from factory. Oh, sorry. And so uh, it's um, begin to be pretty heavy but uh, not so much and as I said this thing is made for two rocks around the clock if it's ne it's uh, necessary uh, the, when you need it like that it have a, a little fan which you can see turning after a while this fan is uh, just uh, supplied with a little bit of current for not to em emit a lot of noise and uh, so it works very nice 
and you can see I can choose the voltage I want in this output. This output is 2.54 inch, I think. I, I absolutely didn't make this with the purpose and it comes perfectly at the same um, distance here. This is a, a pure, a pure, uh, pure chance. So, uh, so, so now I'm just going to open it and see how it's made inside. Believe me or not, this is the only single screw on this box. So uh, this is a, there is a little little people inside. So what I'm going to show you here, it's uh, tricky. All this stuff is is it's, is made by tricky tricky things. So uh, this power supply, which is in fact <coughs> a power supply coming from factory, is an industrial power supply. This one too this one is an industrial this one too except this one which is in fact a little power supply coming from uh, apple charger and i'm going to explain to you why i use this uh, apple charger uh, uh, further so uh, this one is uh, the 5 volt 4 amp which provides all of the power in this in this hub here and uh, except this one this one this one and this one and this one are fed by this power supply this is a 5 volt 4 amp power supply this this nozzle 2 is is a feed by this power supply but this this one in red is connected to this uh, this uh, regulated power supply adjustable power supply for two for in case you need it for troubleshooting or other another stuff you can change the voltage but it's very dangerous you you don't need you don't have to uh, to forget that you can have very high voltage here if you connect anything here and you forget there is uh, more than five volts here you can destroy your devices <coughs> And uh, here, this is uh, simply the 12 volt uh, power supply, which comes comes from here. It's a uh, 12 volt, 2 amp, and the 2 amp is enough for to supply lots of stuff working on on 12 volt. For uh, for the instance, I use it for for experiment experimenting some uh, when I when I need to use my. Uh, electronic load because in fact I I I am looking for a box for to put this uh, electronic load in a box for to make it very clean with his uh, own power supply but I didn't found a box for the moment so I use it like that and uh, this is a industrial power supply it's made for it's made to for less and this one and this one are to uh, 48 power supply which are in parallel for to uh, to feed this uh, module coming from china and uh, it's they give 48 volts in entry and uh, with a book system a book converter system in this uh, little uh, uh, device you can have the voltage you want with a different current you you have something like uh, 800 milliamps in the entry but you can have 20 volt with 2 amps in entry it's uh, nice for to feed anything you want working with a different voltage not 5 volt not uh, 12 volt not, uh, not uh, 48 but anything voltage um, between 1 and uh, 48, 48 volt for example not for change because it didn't it never rise the voltage on entry with a with a 80 volts uh, with a 48 volts it can rise something like uh, 45 volts maximum and so the tricky things 
when I first when I di when I make this device, my Sony device does, the, um, didn't work with uh, this uh, port, and they works with uh, Sony ports. So it's a, a big problem because if you want to make some troubleshooting on this kind of USB port and in fact your device don't recognize the power supply and it doesn't want to connect the the supply of the charging system in this device it, it it's uh, useless in fact it, this is useless so this is the reason why i use a little apple charger this little li very little device is in fact apple charger this apple charger is connected to the main and all the output of the USB port of this little device is connected in parallel with all the USB port you can see here. So now, when you want to connect any devices you want, <coughs> sorry, it's able to, <coughs> it's uh, perfectly working. I have connected my Samsung, my um, Sony camcorder, my uh, uh, my uh, Huawei, uh, I connect all the stuff and all the things works. And this nozzle is uh, also uh, feed supplied by this uh, Apple, but in fact, uh, Apple uh, power supply. In fact, this power supply provides something like 1 amp. This 1 amp, 5 volt, 1 amp coming from this power supply are in parallel with this 5 volt, 4 amps. And in fact, it uses the permission to this uh, power supply for to accept the 5 volt 4 amps, and it uses the current and the voltage with the power with the power of this uh, of this power supply because uh, all this port needs lots of energy, and uh, this this little stuff is not able to to supply all this port in the same time, except if you use one single port in the same time, of course. I uh, make this stuff for to work every day without stopping because uh, I need to don't care uh, too. And uh, the very nice thing is, uh, of course, this uh, little stuff which can be connected like that. And in fact, this is the reason why I made this little noise, this uh, little nozzle, USB nozzle. And when you don't need it, you just disconnect like that and it uh, works very nice it's works very nice so this is uh, my make of uh, yesterday uh, I was uh, too much tired for to make a video to yesterday for to talk about this stuff I put the only one screw this is a really a bastard power supply Okay, so uh, what I need is to, to tell then uh, this uh, port which is connected to this supply, which is a little bit dangerous in fact, is also connected in parallel, but only the two center pin, the two center pin of the plug are connected to the apple. So when you connect this, uh, this stuff to any device you want, it's able to to recognize the charger and to connect to the power supply to the main power supply so even this one is able to be recognized by by lots of devices just you need to be very careful by not using this this single output marked in red with not a uh, correct voltage at the output providing by this little power supply. And so the very nice thing is to have this USB meter which is connected in front of you and uh, I have connected this little uh, hold uh, Arcos MP3 player and see what is see. As you can see it's uh, charging with one, one amp it's uh, and it's also able to work with 
all the other parts but also this one but uh, you cannot put this because uh, you need a cable for to go there so if you put you need just to choose your voltage to 5 volts switch on you have your 5 volts here and now you can connect and you can read a current your current is going through this port and uh, making your devices charging but this purpose is to increase or decrease the voltage for to see the reaction for the example here if I decrease the voltage you can see the reaction at this moment the current is dropping a lot at five at four volt it's uh, only reach 300 milliamp but one volt difference make make it rising very quickly this is the purpose of this kind of device here you can also use these devices for to charge lithium-ion batteries uh, with uh, adjusting the maximum the maximal uh, current need for your cell for to charge and also if you have something like a laptop to to repair you can adjust your 90 volt or 20 volt here or anything any voltage you want and just make the adjustment here for to choose your voltage and supply the, the laptop or any other voltage you want for troubleshooting it was the video for today i hope you like it and tell you see you soon